Hey everybody, today I gotta explain Use Context in React. Use Context is a React hook. It allows you to share values between multiple levels of components without passing props through each level. What we'll do in this example is create four components, components A through D. Each component will be nested within one another. So within our source folder, let's create a new file for component A. This will be a JSX file. We will create a function-based component named component A. No parameters for now, and be sure to export it. Export default component A. Within this component, we will return some HTML. We will return a div element. The div element will have a class name of box. Within this div element, we will create an h1 element that has text of component A. Within our app component, we will import component A. Import component A from its location dot forward slash component A dot JSX. We will return a single component A component. We're also going to add a little bit of CSS. To visualize it, we will select our class of box, add a border of 3 pixel solid, and padding of 25 pixels. Here's component A. We're going to copy this file of component A and paste it three times. We will rename the second copy as component B the third as component C, the fourth as component D. We have component A, B, C, and D. Within component B, rename any instance of component A with component B. The same goes for C and D. From component A, we're going to import component B. Import component B from its location. Component B.jsx. After our h1 element, we will include one component B component. We have component B within component A. Now within component B, we will import component C. Import component C from its location, component C.jsx. After our h1 element, we will include one component C component. So we have component C within component B within component A. Within component C, we will import component D. Import component D from its location component d.jsx. After our h1 element, we will include one component d component. We have component d within component c within component b within component a. I've organized my tabs a, b, c, d. Within component a, we're going to create a state variable, const user, and a setter for user equals the use state hook, we will need to import it. Type in your username. I'll type in bro code for mine. At the top, we need to import from React, use object destructuring to get the use state hook from its location of React. Now, after our h1 element, I will create an h2 heading. We will embed some JavaScript. We'll display a template string of hello, add a placeholder, your username. So within component A, you should have an H2 heading that displays hello and your username. Within component D, what if I would also like to display my username? Well, from component A, I would have to pass props down all the way to component D. I'll have to pass them to B, which will pass them to C, which will pass them to D. So if we were using props, this is what we would have to do. 
within component B, we will pass in props set user to equal our user. Within component B, we'll have to set up props. Props will be the parameter. Within component C, we will set user to equal embed some JavaScript props.user. Within component C, we'll set up props again. Within component D, we will set user to equal embed some JavaScript props.user. Then within component D, set up props again. After our h1 element, let's create an h2 element. We'll embed some JavaScript, use a template string, display by, add a placeholder, access props, our parameter, access the user. Within component A, we have hello, your username. Within component D, we have by, your username. By passing props down each of these nested components, this is known as prop drilling. We're drilling down to the center, the center component. Passing props down this long chain can become very tedious, but there's a better solution, and that is with the use context hook. The use context hook allows us to share values between multiple levels of components without passing props down through each level. However, we have to set up a provider component which component has the data we would like access to. In this case, it would be component A. In component A, we have that state variable of our username, which we named user. So within our provider component, we have three steps. We have to import create context from React. So within component A, we already have use state, but we also need create context. We need to create some context and export it export const, then we need a unique name for this context. We're working with the username. Let's name our context user context. The context name should be descriptive of what you're working with. If the data we're working with is a color, we could say color context equals create context. And this is a function. Now, the last thing we need to do is wrap any children components within this special provider component. We are going to wrap component B within another component. We will take our user context, access provider, set the value equal to be some JavaScript, our value of user. And we just need to wrap this component of component B. Component A is now the provider component. It's going to provide a value of user. We no longer need props. We can get rid of these for each component. After I deleted props from component B, well, our username is now undefined within component D. We broke that chain. All right. Any component that needs this data, we will set up to be a consumer component. You can have more than one. We'll have to import the use context hook from React, as well as the context that we set up. We're exporting it, so we need to import it elsewhere. Within component D, we will import from React, use object destructuring, the use context hook from its location of React. We also need the user context. Import use object destructuring to get user context from its location of component A. That was the original location where we exported it from. We'll use the context, get the context, and store the value. We'll do that inside of our component const user equals use context hook. We're going to pass in our user context as an argument. And now we have access to user. We'll use a placeholder and add our user. And that has appeared to work. We have displayed by your username. We have avoided prop drilling 
instead of drilling down to the center component to pass down a value, by using use context, we traverse up the component tree to find the nearest provider, which would be component A. Component A is the provider component. Component D is a consumer component. And you can have more than one. So let's do the same thing with component C. We need these two lines of code. Really, we can just copy them because I'm lazy. And we need to create a constant of user or some other descriptive name for this value. Use context, pass in our context of user context. Let's add another H2 element. We'll embed some JavaScript, use a template string. Let's say, hello, again, add a placeholder, our username. So within component C, we have used use context again. Without prop drilling, we're displaying, hello, again, your username. Any component that's a child component of our provider component of A has access to this value that we set up. All right, everybody, so that is the use context react hook. It allows you to share values between multiple levels of components without passing props through each level. If you have a lot of nested components, passing props down to each level can become very tedious. This is a way to avoid that. And well, everybody, that is the use context hook in React.